Let's talk about CBSC and English. Now the importance of English comes in only two circumstances. Number one, when you have to write essays for your international applications. Number two, when you need English to clear SAT. Now for people who aren't aiming for either of these, English is just an extra burden which they have to get through and get good marks to get a good score in both. And this video is for those people who just want to score in English and do not have anything to do with international applications. If you want, I will make a video on SAT and essay writing English, how you have to prepare for that. But this is only for scoring marks in both. Number one, do not dismiss the subject. Okay, English might seem like Kaun padega type ka subject, but do not because it's a huge mark bank. Just like political parties have vote banks, English can make your percentage go from here to here. I got 96 this time in boards and honestly it did help a lot in my percentage. Okay, let's break down the paper now. The first one is a comprehension section. You do not have to learn for that. You just have to read the comprehension and answer the questions. And if you want, I can make a video on how to properly answer a comprehension passage though it's very easy. Second thing is writing. I'll be talking about that. And the third thing is literature. Now the only and only thing you have to prepare here is literature and format for writing skills. The only and only thing you need to know for writing skills is the format because to be honest, the boards don't really care what you write. Obviously, you have to make sense in your content, but most of them don't go through your entire content too. When you're writing for writing skills, all you have to know is the format. And to remember the format, just write down only the format two, three times. You don't have to write the entire letter two, three times, etc. And since there are a lot of writing skills, give them a lot of importance because it's minimum effort, but maximum marks. So the minimum of effort you have to put is learning the format, which when you write it once or twice before the exams, you'll perfect them. And don't go behind reading different letters or reading different kind of writing skills because that's not going to help. You might pick up a few words and a few sentences which you can use to improve your answers. But apart from that, you cannot copy paste the entire content because it's time waste. So you write your content and you'll be well to do. Now literature. There are a lot of chapters and I know majority of you look at it as a burden and as a thing which you have to do again and again just to score marks. But instead, change your perspective. Look at it as stories. I'll tell you how that helps. Suppose if I ask you, I'm just going to take an example. Uh, if you've read human, uh, human, well, Hindu mythology, then you would obviously know the basic story of Ramayan and you will also know the details and you will also know the names of the people if you've read it once or twice or the more you've heard it from your parents etc. So similarly, these are just stories. You have to read them and there are a few names you have to remember, a few sentences you have to remember. That's it. I know sometimes you don't feel like reading them. So that's when you have to strategize your study plan. So when suppose you're doing physics and chemistry for the past two hours and you're really tired, but you have to study anyways because exams are coming, just take up an English chapter. You don't have to sit and do English chapters every single day. Just do them when you're bored and when your brain is too tired to comprehend new things in science. Just read the chapter, know, know a few details. See, the more you read it again and again, the more you'll retain. The most basic and low effort thing you can do is pay attention in class. And in class, I'm pretty sure English teachers just cover like uh, one page, two page or one paragraph for poems. Okay, just note down jo bhi notes banane hai, samaj lo chapter ko story, samaj lo ghar ja ke story interesting lagi. To read the story again. That's it. And once you've read the story while you're studying in school, you don't have to read the story again before the exams. You might have to read it just for the keywords and important points. But once you've understood the story, you can write your answers on your own. I really believe that underlining the keywords and knowing the keywords for any English chapter is very important. And the keywords tabhi pata chalenge when you read the chapter more than two times, okay? At least more than two times before your board exams. And that's when you know the keywords. When you do more questions, you don't have to write down each and every question. Just look at the question and think. Is me keywords kya hone chahiye? If you get them all right, then 
you're done dude you don't have to write the questions i okay probably i am a person who doesn't believe in writing and studying but uh, once you look at a question and if you know that you know the answer for this then you're done you don't have to do anything else if you're a person who wants full marks in english then you might have to remember a few details but honestly i've seen so many people who do not really focus on the details but still end up getting really great marks not full but really great marks so if you're not aiming for like full full in english you just have to know the story know the keywords that's it and for that there are two things you have to do number 1 read the story at least two times before your board exams number 2 read it whenever you're tired with physics and chemistry or bio or any other of your subjects because It's a stress buster. It's just a story. My personal favorite way of doing English without really stressing about it is telling the story to my mom. Sometimes I just go like, I want to tell you the story for this chapter and then I revise the entire chapter. So, it's pretty cool. You can fi- figure out your own ways of learning. Well, I forgot covering a very very important point. School teachers and English. Okay, school teachers will not give you marks. So, I mean that's a fact school teachers always want you to improve because in english there is always scope for improvement so don't feel disheartened if you get lesser marks in school exams because in boards they're going to give you marks if you make sense so yeah if you're just aiming for boards do not stress on english obviously give it enough attention because it helps in increasing your percentage but it's not a burden it's just an extra story book i guess and yeah obviously writing skill ke format etc etc but if you're a person who's focusing on sat and writing essays for us universities it's important that you work on your vocabulary every day it's important that you read more and more books other than your school books so yeah that's it this was a pretty short video guys please let me know if i should have covered more points or whatever video you want i might not be uploading for the next week as i'm traveling to india for neat so yeah thank you